All right, this is gonna be a video on how to start up the RO. Just clear the timer. First thing you gotta do is make sure your valves are set properly on the outside. We'll go outside first. Water valve is shut. This water valve is shut. These valves are not open yet. So, oh, a little slippery. We're gonna open this sap valve here. There we go. There's our sap tank. You can see we've got about 900 gallons. Close in. Okay, so our outside valves are right. Inside, inside valves have to be set. So open this one. And make sure this one is closed. And then open this one. If this one's open when you open this one and your tanks are pretty full, then it's gonna fill up this with sap and start overflowing because the level out there is higher. The level out there is higher than the level in here and it'll just start wasting all your sap. So, as long as this one's closed, you can open this one. And the sap's coming in. The next thing to do is check to make sure that this valve up here is closed, which is open right now. So we'll grab a broom and we'll close it. This is the valve between the RO tank upstairs and the evaporator. The concentrate tank upstairs, that's what I mean. I'm gonna go upstairs real quick to show you. Up these stairs. Walk through the dark, scary part of the attic. And right here is our concentrate tank. Comes up that line right there, comes down the blue, drops right in. And then down at that end, there's a little drain where it drains downstairs. So, got that set up, we can fire up the RO. And here we go. Make sure these valves are yeah, like 45 degrees. These two can be 45s, and this one should be all the way open. And Actually, I haven't changed this filter yet, so gotta change this filter first. Let's pop this guy off. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Nope. I'm gonna set it down real quick. All right. There we go. Oh, heavy. Change that guy out. And I'll set it over here by the garbage for now. Drain this out. Now when you when you empty these, you gotta make sure this rubber gasket doesn't go down the drain, because without that, you're gonna be leaking water and sap everywhere. Spray this out. Alright. Get a new filter all the way back here one left in this box right. this filter in there and you can kind of see maybe oh well, maybe you can't there's like a little Ridge down there in the middle, they kind of set this guy on or around. I'm having trouble finding it. It's kind of weird. All right, there we go. Set my ridge and then put this one back up, and it should go 
hand. It should be really easy to, to screw on with your hand again. The reason I say that is if there's too much resistance that you have to really push, then you're crushing your filter against the, the par at the top. So you're gonna make sure it kind of slides on nice and easy. No, no extra force or whatever. And then a little bit, a little bit of pressure to tighten it. It's good. All right, so we've got our filter. We've got our sap line open. And we've got the lines draining right here. It's good for now because there's a little bit of water in the machine first and we'll start it up hold this and you can see that guy just rose we'll give it a second this will start filling up because these guys are both draining in there so that valve there adjusts the, the flow, the main flow of everything. And this valve adjusts which one of these is, is more. So watch as I close this, it concentrates it higher. As I open it, concentrates it lower. So the higher gallons per minute going through, the lower the concentration. All right, so we don't waste any, any sap. Start the high pressure pump. Takes a second. And we also start the research pump. That's this guy. All right, so we got them running. And we want to concentrate at a pretty high concentration, a pretty low, pretty low flow. So first thing we'll do, lower this down to, let's say, say one and a third what I like to do that's about a hundred gallons an hour right about there uh, sorry one in one and two thirds one and two thirds all right so then this right here pretty low pressure we want this to say about 375 so to have that go up we restrict the flow right here and that'll increase our pressure And it'll get pretty loud too. Here we go. Pop back up so we'll lower this down a little bit more. Alright, right, like 350. We're gonna let this go a little lower for now. Because as sap gets in there, this will drop and this will drop. Uh, it's just mostly got water in there still. So we can start sending the permeate, which is the RO water. Currently, this pipe is coming down. We can send it up out into the RO tank. That's fine. So I open this one. I start sending it out. And close this one. And you'll notice it's still spilling over a little bit, but not a lot because that this guy, the concentrate. So when we're ready to send the concentrate upstairs there, then we'll open this valve and we'll close that valve right there. All right, let's see what we're at. I want to bring this back down again. Higher concentrate. Right about, right about there. Now if we put this at, let's say two, two gallons per minute. And there we got about 12, a little more, but let's say 12. And that's 14 total. And 14 divided by two is, is seven. We do seven times the bricks, which is two. We need to come out with about 14% concentrate. That's how that works. All right, you see our pressure jumped above 375. Because the sap's getting in there more, 
So what we'll do is we'll open this valve more. We'll open it and lower that pressure just a little bit. Oh, that's too much. All right, right about there, 375. We'll look at our flows here again. And let's bring it down just a notch. Oops. And about there. So as it, as it works that sap into the membrane, it'll kind of move these up and down and you just got to keep adjusting them. Uh, but eventually it'll kind of, once it's fully max out with sap then you'll kind of settle everything and you can just let it run for hours and hours all right now we can start sending the sap upstairs we'll concentrate we we'll send it upstairs close this one and check on the guide all around and pump up a little bit again so let's turn this down just a tad too much Should not be more than 15. It's, you see, it's about 389 or 388. So it's a difference of 8 or 9 psi, which is not that at all. We, as long as it's not up to 15, we're okay. So now what we'll do is we'll take our hydrometer and our little cap container. We'll take it upstairs and we'll test test the concentrate see what it's coming out at. It's kind of got some water that it's working through the system, so it'll probably be a little lower than what we calculate, but we're doing just under two gallons a minute, and the other one was about nine. So 11 divided by two, five and a half times two. So about 11, about 11 uh, percent bricks. 11 bricks is what we would expect, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to set you down to hold this. concentrating and uh, I know it'll, it'll get up higher 11 or 12 or so uh, as it works all that water out of the system and it's not gonna hurt anything to have five for a few minutes so yeah that's how you start it up we'll go check the pressures one more time and then probably pretty much call it good for the next 15 hours of our own